Jesus in your face. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So I am actually on, for the first time in a couple of years, my Canon G7X today. So what happened, uh, well, probably about two years ago at this point, maybe even close to three years ago. So I dropped the camera and then after that, a few days after that, the lens cover was kind of coming off. And then uh, a few weeks after that, the Wi-Fi function stopped working. And so I just thought, ah, stack, stack this in the bin. Not literally, obviously, that's due to phrase. Um, but what I actually did was just put it in that basket there and just not think about it or touch it for two years and as I say that's what I mean when I say sack it in the bin uh, just so that then people don't think oh my god you threw away a 500 pound camera no that's not what I did uh, clearly it's not what I did because I'm recording with it um, but yeah so I found a way actually and it's the most obvious and simple way ever and you know what I'm like when it comes to the small things I just I, I just forget about them or don't even bother doing them but you can actually use the memory card and put it into this little USB thing and then upload it to your computer that way because obviously the Wi-Fi is not working on it. So that's what we're going to try. So if you are seeing this vlog, that is uh, that obviously option has potentially worked. So uh, it's now 12 o'clock, so it's a bit late to start a vlog. I'm not particularly doing anything crazy today. I've just done my photography. I'm doing a working hangout in a little bit. I'm going to try and get some listing done on that. Uh, I've got one item to package that just come through this morning, so I might obviously go and package that. And if I go and package that, I will vlog a little bit of that. But yeah, just odds and ends really today. I've just recorded a philosophy video this morning. In fact, again, quick plug, I am more active over my, on my philosophy channel now, obviously as we're leading up to me getting closer to going to university. So if you want to check that out, it's Armchair Philosophy on YouTube. It'd be really, really cool if some people go over there and support me. But if philosophy is not your thing, which I know for some people it isn't, don't worry about it. Just, you know, stick over here on this channel. Yeah, with that being said, let's get on with it today and let's see what we are going to do. Anyone else like this where there's tons in, but you just honestly don't know what to have for lunch? I mean, I could have soup, eggs, but I just, <laughs> I think sometimes there can be too much choice. It's pretty big, isn't it? Just get that crap off there. Yeah, that's pretty big. Is that other one bigger? Nah, that'll do. That'll do. We'll have a jacket. A jacket. Get this out here. Here comes the fun bit. Do. Do -do 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 -do. Obviously, I'd normally use my other hand to steady it, but I've not got another hand, so... Oh, I'm not going in far enough. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, crap. Ah, it won't come off! The bugger! The bloody bugger! Oh, for God's sake! This is dangerous here, isn't it? This is dangerous. There we go. Right, that'll do. The knife's not going... Hi there, little Electra. How are you doing? Stretching. Right. That's what it's in. Yes, it is going in the microwave. It's a working lunch, isn't it? You know. Can't be doing that in the oven. To be honest, I've not had a jacket potato in the oven for forever. Forgot what the, the nice tastes are like in the oven. I do five minutes and then two minutes because that normally works. Um, now we need to put something else on because I don't know what else I've got. Get them crap off there. <sighs> Get a little uh, pan out of here. Ooh, lovely. Do do do. No, I'm not eating the pan, don't worry, even though I said it's lovely. Do do, that would be insane. Although I'm not above insanity, so you never know. Uh, yeah, so some cheese, let's get that out. Uh, beans, 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 beans. The more you eat, the more you fart. Give your courage and give you your start. Do 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 do. Hands beans. Now, I used to have Blanston, and Blanston were bloody nice, but I've gone back to Heinz now, so... Kind of. Now, um, oh, for crying out loud, oh, this is not gonna work with one hand. Bean juice, uh, right, let's get some of this. There we go, that'll do. Bean juice, bean juice. No, I'm not gonna lick it up, that'd be weird. Shake them about a bit, get a nice even spread. I like a nice even spread. Or I should say, I like a nice eagle spread. No, 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 we're not doing that. That's too dirty. Anyway, so, 
Beans are in. This is not on. Although that'll take set. Oh no, wait, the beans are gonna be done. No, 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 no. Go away, go away. I don't want you on yet. I need this on. Simple things I can't even do. Right, we have that on for about two minutes. Then we put the beans on. Because that's got another two minutes more after this. So that's seven minutes. The beans won't take seven minutes. They'll take about five minutes. So we need, or well, maybe even not even five minutes. So we need two minutes gone on that. So when that gets to three minutes, we put the beans in. Kids noodles. Uh, I, I do have a younger brother, if anyone asks. Maybe. Um, I don't eat meat, but tuna. Well, I had some corned beef. Corned beef? Corn oh my god. Corn? Corn could do corned beef. Oh, that is so good. Anyway, yeah. Corn, if you're listening, do corned beef. But I did have some corned beef beef the other week so I, I do sometimes eat meat so now we need the beans on like we're loving beans like the beaniest juice of beans mmm lovely beans so now they go on there now it's on a high heat high heat uh, don't put it on a high heat for long because sauce that boils spoils as we like to say I'm gonna put the cheese on top of the beans always season when you when you're cooking, apparently. I don't do that, but I'll do it for the vlog because it makes me look good, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah, nice bit of seasoning on there. People might be thinking at this point, whoa, he's going excessive on pepper. You should know, I absolutely love pepper. Hey, baby, we've got some bad, bad boys, baby. Right, okay, that's done. Now we leave it for five seconds so then the gamma rays don't get you when you open the door. You don't want that, do you? All the gamma rays piercing your insides and making you die. Um, so one, one, two, careful. Well, okay, that's all right on that side. Turn it over. Right, okay, we're cool. We're cool. Put that in. I'm gonna give that not two minutes. Bloody bugger, two minutes. That. that... 1.30, not 1.20. Right, 1.30 in there. Okay, oh yeah, coming up a treat then. You know, we're not boiling, there's a bit saucy in there still. We like we like it when it's a bit saucy. Um, so we're gonna just keep that on the normal there, keep that sorted. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah! Oh, it's so good! Uh, I need butter out. You're my love! Cause we're all here when we're in love. We're in love. We're in love. I love you. Oh, I was getting another plate out. We don't need another plate. I need you and you're in my love. You're in my love, oh baby. Three, two, one. Yes, boys. Right, five seconds to wait for them gamma rays to clear. Right, okay, we're safe now. About. Now, okay, we'll do it. Whoa. Right, thank you. Whoa. God, gamma rays, eh? Whew, we get you. In my love. In my... Don't worry about that thing. That's just the, the thing. Oh yeah, now that's proper done that. It's probably too far done to be honest, but you can do, eh? Right in! Ta-da! Look at that beauty! Oh yeah, loads of loveliness. Right, I've got to eat this now, because you know how cold jacket potatoes go cold, right? I mean, you know how quick jacket potatoes go cold, right? Mental. So, I am in the uh, photography area now. I just thought I'd show you those few things that I photographed uh, earlier on. That stuff there is all the new source, new store stuff that I'm keeping separate from the main store stuff. So that then, obviously, I don't get into basically muddling things up and stuff. So I like to keep them separate. So they're there. I've not really done much on the new store the last couple of weeks. I've just been focused on doing so much other stuff. Uni stuff, philosophy stuff, trying to read as much as I can. Doing YouTube, of course, on both YouTube channels, both the philosophy channel and this one. Also, I brought all this back from a lockup. This is the remains of all the stuff I want going on eBay and then clearing all this out and getting some money for university. There's loads more, I'm talking tons more, of car boot stuff that are in the lockup. I'm gonna have to do tons of car boots. I can't really do that at the moment for obvious reasons. Um, so, yeah, all here is I've got an N64 console, I've got five PS2s in here, couple of slims, uh, a silver slim as well, 
couple of fat ones as well. Uh, loads of wee's in that back one, F uh, five, four or five wee's in there. And then two boxed Wii consoles there that I've had for ages and just not done anything with. An Xbox Elite there, I don't know what they go for anymore, but I swear they used to be about 150 quid on eBay. Might not be that now though. And then loads of other stuff down there. PS, uh, that PS1 that I got not long ago actually. I think I showed that on a haul video. Basically just getting, getting all that photographed really and obviously with those consoles i might do a few untested i might do a few tested i'm not sure i'm definitely going to test that n64 definitely test that xbox possibly test those two boxed wii's there the uh ones that are actually you know not got boxes and stuff i might just do them as little job lots untested just to get some stuff out at this point i've got uh 1150 still on ebay that i need most of them gone by the time i get to university as i've explained so and then obviously i've got all this lot that is still unlisted and the stuff from the car boots so i've just got i've just got to get on and get stuff stuff sorted really i'm gonna try to say i'm gonna do that live stream in a minute i'm actually gonna set that up in a minute and get some listing done there so i suppose i will see you in the next part of this vlog hi guys so uh we are on the live stream here as you can see the uh webcam's on and i'm gonna be listing this item here this uh book coins of england and the united kingdom 40th edition uh, so let me just flip you around and uh, i'll show you my little listing page uh, so i need to put this in here as you can see coins of england and the united kingdom i actually do capitalized um things on all my listings as well does anyone else i'm speaking to the chat now by the way not the vlog um does anyone else do capitalizations on all of their listings as well uh 40th edition was it because that's something I always do. I always do uh, capitalizations on everything. So, that was the most eventful live stream that I've done in a while. If you were a part of it, then you will know what I'm talking about. So, obviously, recently I've done the ads card system for streaming. And it really took off today. Uh, loads of people were getting involved with it. Uh, I'm very grateful that people are enjoying it and that people are actually getting involved with it. And... <laughs> It just made me realise that possibly I have created some cards that probably want to be a little bit rarer. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then there's a link in the description to the website about kind of the ads cards and stuff, or about the, the cards, and uh, obviously you can purchase them there as well to actually redeem on stream. But essentially what they are is cards in which you can redeem on stream in which I have to perform a certain action, or I have to do something on stream. Sometimes it's something silly, or sometimes it's something that can be actually quite personal, and... Uh, yeah, it was it was a very eventful stream. I've I've ne we've never had. I don't think I've had an eventful stream like that. It was it was crazy. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I've just done a bit of listing on stream. I only managed to do five listings on the stream. Obviously, we had so many ads cards getting redeemed. We had so much going on in the chat. It was actually hard to actually get any real work done. But I'm going to go out for a walk. Like I said, I might this afternoon. Um, I possibly need to do another couple of bits actually when I got home. Just looking down there. Oh, someone asked um, in the chat, actually they redeemed an ads card and said, um, could you do a uh, sort of an OBS tutorial? So I might get that recorded today or I might get it recorded tomorrow. Um, it was initially because the ads card that was redeemed was to do it on the next stream. But I think it'll be a challenge to actually do it on a live stream, to actually do an OBS tutorial on a live stream. OBS, if you don't know, is the... Um, broadcasting service I use to actually stream with onto YouTube. So I'm going to get that done possibly either later on today or tomorrow in terms of a, a recorded video that's a little bit more well edited. So yeah, I think it's time we go out for a walk now. It's a very odd scene at the moment. Look at that. Electra has walked up. My house is all the way around there, right? About sort of 50 metres that way. And she's walked out all the way with me as if she's coming on the walk with me. That is really weird. It's almost like she's a dog. <laughs> look, look at her. She's legging it off there. She never does that. Oh, she's just walked behind that hedge, but she was still following me then. Looks like she's probably just gone into that garden there. I've never known it. She never follows me this far on a walk. Well, it's a little bit of a damp day today. And slightly dull, but it's not too bad. It's not incredibly cold or anything at least. Sometimes I go out and walk and it's incredibly cold. But it's not too bad today. 
Right, I am, oh, it's going dark again here. Um, I am back off my walk, just going downstairs now. Got to do uh, one, I've got, oh no, actually I've got two items to pack now. I had another sale while I was on the live stream. So yeah, nice little invigorating walk. Saw a few people out actually. There wasn't anyone down that Octel Road, but there's a few people out. Uh, I think people are still getting their exercise in when we can. Um, out and about. Oh, here is Electra. Can you see her down there? I don't know whether you can see. I've not got the viewfinder on. Um, but yeah, so just let her in here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this packaging now. And uh, I don't know what else I've got to do. You, you know when you just forget? You just haven't a clue. So I picked out the items from storage. You got a little car going out for a tenner there in, in its box, a little matchbox American Editions car. Um, got this Johnny Cash album. Don't ask me how much I've, I forgot. Well, actually, I don't even really think I've looked properly because this sold during the stream. And then I've got this little Carlton where I guess that's going out for maybe 12 99 14 99 Again, uh, maybe similar on, on the album, but I'm not sure. Actually, I've got my uh, phone. I don't know why because I'm obviously recording via my... Uh, camera so i'll just check on my phone here ten pound 15 for that johnny cash album plus post obviously so 13 quid plus post um well you know all in so uh yeah that's those so i'm gonna wrap them up now got a nice well probably a bit big actually in it for that one maybe that one but mm, yeah possibly if i if i pad it quite well um although i don't like sending ceramics in these very very thin amazon boxes so i just realized i actually had a package left outside and it was some big boxes that i've got there i've got some other ones there it's always really cool yeah uh, don't worry about the mess it's always really cool uh because i remembered you actually get the free bubble wrap you get i don't know five meters or ten meters or something of it and then uh, a little free tape with it which is pretty cool um although as you can see i've got a few bit i've got a bit of bubble wrap in stock i normally get the three big rolls i've been doing that for ages and i literally ordered it a few days ago so i've still got pretty much a full three big rolls that one's depleting a little bit um but yeah so so that'll just add to the pile i suppose what about there um what it's under here with my tape don't know whether you can see me oh yeah there you can actually uh oh no my tape's all right i've got a fair bit of it and i do it looked like i was just depleting a bit here but no actually i've got a fair bit of it i normally buy tape in uh 36 rolls because then normally i can just about fit 36 under here and uh, it really depends on how long that'll last me i think the minimum that's lasted me is about a month or a month and a half but normally it lasts me a bit longer than that yeah that's that i've, I've just packed them up i've actually just taken them in so uh yeah i'll just show you them now actually that was the uh, packaging actually it came in so as you can see there are the parcels oh one's on the floor there that one that one there which is the um little die cast model but yeah it must have fell off so got me three parcels there i label them up tomorrow morning take them out and uh, yeah i go upstairs and see what else i've got to do oh hi my name's adam and welcome to reading corner so what have we got on the agenda today at reading corner we have this lovely book here, uh, Mysticism, Evelyn Underhill. I'm uh, on page 88. Sure, so, shall we start reading? You are now raised out of the mere push forward, the blind passage through time of the flock, into a position of creative responsibility. You are aware of personal correspondences with the shepherd. You correspond too with a larger, deeper, broader world. By this they mean that the spark of spiritual stuff, the high special power or character of human nature by which you first desired, then tended to, then achieved contact with reality, is as it were fertilised by this profound communion with its origin, becomes strong and vigorous, invades and transmutes the whole personality and makes of it not a dreamy mystic but an active and impassioned servant of eternal wisdom. God! Whew! You can make love to this book! It's steamy! Woo! I think we've had enough of this for today. We're on page 90, that'll do. Oh, God. God, you got to limit yourself on this stuff. Tell you, Fifty Shades of Grey has nothing on this. Well, that'll do it for Reading Corner, so, um, we'll leave it there. And, um, yeah. So, I've just finished my reading, I've just finished over there at Reading Corner, I've just looked at my to-do list, I've 
pretty much done everything with a few other little bits and bobs uh, that I could obviously write on there and uh, pad out the rest of the day. It's now uh, 10 past 5 so I'm going to get some tea in a minute. I could do some editing, that's something that I would like to get done. I could do some work on Photoshop actually um, doing, creating a few more of those ads cards to upload uh, and pad that collection out. So there's a few other bits and bobs of, of things I could be doing really and I could probably do with maybe doing a little bit more reading. Uh, but we'll see anyway, I'll definitely do one or two of those things and uh, yeah that about do it for this vlog anyway I'll uh, get my tea now uh, and clock off with the vlog and uh, and yeah I, I suppose I'll see you in the next one so if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing um, if you'd like to see more vlogs if that's something you'd like to see me do then uh, obviously like it and then throw a comment down below and uh, yeah whenever the next video is I really don't know but I will see you then so see you very soon guys